हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स दिस इज माय न्यू सीरीज फिजियो क्वेस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इलेवन फॉर दिस वीक माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई हैव आस्क स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चंस इन विच यू डोंट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट द रीजनिंग बट यू शुड नो द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू फाउंड इट लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट टू आंसर एंड हार्डली वेरी फ्यू ऑफ यू हैव आंसर्ड इट करेक्टली but no problems i have come here to explain the answer and give you the correct information which you require to answer those questions so let's begin with the first question of this week which i have asked is about the manual cervical traction now the situation what we have got is about that patient is lying on the plinth and therapist is trying to give a manual cervical traction with lifting the head up and so that the friction is zero and we need to find out that how much amount of weight in pounds you are going to apply for the distraction of the cervical spine according to j bahrains who has written the book on physical agents who has explained very nicely about the, all the modalities and the physiotherapy on hands which is a manual therapy as well and according to research as well it is said that for cervical traction we require to give minimum of 25 to 30 pounds of distraction force to reach to the cervical spine if you are exceeding the limit which is like if you are giving till the 55 it can cause muscle guarding and only if you are reaching up to the 120 pounds then we can tear up the intervertebral disc and it can cause damage to the patient so remember the information which is given according to research and j bahrain is what that minimum of 25 to 30 lbs is required now the question comes that why we are getting confused with the coefficient of the friction now let's understand friction in that way so friction is nothing but whenever you are trying to pull or push anything from the surface even the surface is restricting the motion and that friction is almost for lumbar spine if we calculate for the attraction it is 50 percentage which is 0.50 and for cervical spine it comes around 0.62 so in case in the question if it was asked that head is placed on the plane and now you are trying to apply the manual traction for the cervical spine and also we have given information that 10 lbs of weight is there for the head then we have to ca- count 0.62 which is 6.2 pounds extra for applying the manual traction which will become 25 plus 6.2 somewhere around 31.2 but in this question that is not the situation there is no friction zero friction so that is why we just have to apply 25 to 30 lbs of distraction force to give the cervical spine traction so i hope you have understood the reason and straight forward information for this particular question all right now along with this i also gave you uh, the information about the friction efficient which we have to count for the lumbar spine as well and i hope that is very helpful for you now next question which i have asked in this week which is question number 11 is about manual muscle testing now we all know manual muscle testing its grades everything why it is done the only basic information what we sometimes miss is for how much duration you are going to hold the contraction and that is what is asked in this question and options we are given like 5 seconds 10 seconds 3 seconds or till it breaks the moment now obviously till it breaks the moment means you are trying to injure the patient you cannot continuously apply the resistance to the patient because in that way also we are trying to injure the musculatures which has getting contracted so that option is easily eliminated now according to the books if you do go and see in the kisner which is like we can say a very good book for the exercise therapy information is given that when you are testing any muscle or any movements for the manual muscle testing you have to hold that movement or contract that muscle for minimum of 5 seconds so this is a direct information that you have to receive and you have to answer correctly and if you still have any doubts do let me know in the comment section and also wait for the next questions next week and more reasoning and more explanation from my side one more thing if you liking this information and uh, the series of physio quest Please do like and share this video so that it can reach out to more people and also please subscribe to my channel Physio Trends for more and more support. Thank you so much.